Hey everyone, it's Rich with my wife Kel. Hi. <laughs> and we provide first reaction videos to everyone. We go from metal all the way to progressive rock and anything and everything in between that is awesome. Me being a former musician, as well as a big time uh, viewer of live concerts and shows, bringing that love to my children. They became their own uh, musicians. And then the Flying V Jackson behind us, which is always in the middle of us when we do our videos, belonged to my son Jared, who sadly passed away, suddenly passed away, about six months ago from the complications of epilepsy. And this channel is absolutely in his memory and all of those others rocking in peace. We did a special announcement this morning that kind of highlights the instability of first reaction channels like ours, even though we're mo much more than just first reaction. Please go to www.patreon.com slash Kel and Rich. So www.patreon.com slash K E L N R I C H. Click on there, bookmark it, whatever you want to do. If you want to become a, me a Patreon member, fantastic. It just means that in the moment's notice, we could be shut down and we don't have access to tell you what's going on or we just disappear. It happened to one of our close uh, friends who actually just got a, a community violation. All this stuff, right? We are talking about you, the YouTube community, not yeah. the Patreon community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kel. All this it kind of, it's, it, it's a little shaky for us and we want to continue to do what we're doing but not on a platform solely that uh, is constantly changing. and It seems to be a little bit too constrictive so we're gonna stay here as long as we can forever until something happens hopefully it's not gonna happen but please uh, send me an email also rich sorry we'll do it to Kellen Rich G K E L N R I C H G at gmail.com okay that way we have your information in case the lights go out here on YouTube so mm -hmm. patreon and then definitely back that up with an email. We promise not to use your email for anything other than just, hey, this is what's going on with us, okay? You want to share anything, Kel, around any of that before we go to the face-melting seven and a half minutes of crushing bludgeonry that were promised from, from Wayne? We have talked about this before in the last few weeks because we sense that YouTube is shutting down the reactor, the first reaction sites, because it's, we use copywritten material. In fair use. So but that's it's... what this is all about. For those of you who are coming in for the first time and don't know anything of what we're talking about, first reaction channels like ours, we don't make any money here on YouTube because the content belongs to the artists and the bands. Fair enough. We don't want their money. We want them to have the money. But YouTube will give a three strike policy and then they'll just shut a react a first reactor site down and that you the fans and the subscribers will never know why all you know is that person is gone and there's no explanation and there's no trace of them so that's we've been catching word people have been sending information to us emails and stuff that that's been happening so we feel that our time on YouTube is precarious for this format for this format might be really really limited yeah so we're having to shift we're we're already moving over to patreon or our own website to host yeah. content for a myriad of other uh, ways to connect and to share with you we have a lot of skills that we believe is going to really benefit a lot of people and we love doing it we grow ourselves and uh, take you along for the, for the ride and one uh, of our subscribers asked, "Am I in danger of being blocked on YouTube as a as a as a as a user?" We said, "No, no, no, no. 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 It's nothing to do with you no. guys subscribing to our channel. There's nothing illegal that's going on here. It's it's fair use. It's just that there's programs and controls, almost like uh, someone described it as uh, moving violations, right? So so YouTube has police and they just kind of pop people with moving violations. Some of them are critical and people are shut down for." bad stuff, okay, uh, hate, racism, all that other shit. Um, others, more like a, uh, what happened with Soul Train Bro, Wayne, our buddy. We love, Hi, we Wayne. love you, we, we love you, Wayne. Sorry and, to hear what happened. Yeah, and it's all good because he's back yeah. now. It was just a community policy kind of deal, but he was locked out of his of his site, and it's kind of scary knowing you've done so much work and people yeah. are really watching out for you. So yeah. without further ado, 
Okay, my name is Cal Quickly. I'm Rich's wife. I used to be a formerly trained concert pianist who grew up in a very, very isolated and controlled environment. So a lot of this music that we're listening to on this channel, I have never heard before. I certainly have never heard this band, but this is a very special request. Yes, this is a birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Wayne. for Wayne. Happy birthday, Wayne. You're like what, 21 now? Again. Get 22. <laughs> and uh, he promises us we're gonna be smacked upside the face, melted head. If we don't do this one. So we have forced entry. The song is called Bludgeon. And then we have Obituary Sentence Day, and that'll be the official video. Forced Entry is actually a band from Seattle, so we've yes. read. Uh, fairly new. It's 100% complete from beginning to end. The video. And the video. And then Obituary looks like it's, uh, it's out on CD, or ordered by Relapse Records. There's a link um, on the site, obituary sentence day official music video in 4K, so it should be rockin', um, and a whole list of information and content and lyrics. So uh, we'll do our best to send you over there. Yes. All right, ready, Happy Kel? birthday, Wayne. Thanks Happy so birthday, much for my being man. Here Thanks with for us waiting. And being patient and being wonderful and helping us as much as you do. Cool. And being like our. A little heavy ninth, metal angel. Ninth Patreon patron or something. Thank you, Wayne. And Daryl and Frank and. God, this just been a Larry. whole flurry of, of activity, um, is what it is. Here we go. Busy let's, day. Let's share the screen. Here at Gafter headquarters. Yeah, we have a lot more content rolling out this week. It's going to be very awesome. All right. Okay, let's, let's get our minds blown. Make it big. Blown. Here we go. Forced entry. Bludgeon. So wait, the band is forced entry? Forced entry. Is the band. You got it. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Your 
so reminds me of Jared. <laughs> Always good to have heavy equipment, heavy machinery in your metal videos. about that. Oh, 1990. Yeah, it has had much music on it, so oh, I'm wondering. I'm like, that brings such old school sound back. Mm-hmm. <sighs> sorry. Not at all. My, I mean, my how are you, no, you're not supposed to be sorry because you're not supposed to know. <laughs> I'm supposed to know. And this is true. This is the beauty of it. Hey, we got another one. Obituary. Oh, Put your I ears. was ready to talk Put about your it. Put ears on there, good buddy. You can mm. talk about it. No, no, talk about okay. it first. To get it out. Oh, that was awesome. I was like, wow. That, they, that was, it made it look like it was back in the 90s or 80s. Yeah, but that was like, um, you know, on a car, there's uh, like a, a, a normal car, there's like five gears. That was like a nine gear standard. I was going to say H went nine. Yeah, one was reverse, which is counting as a forward. One actually went sideways. Yeah. So, um, I need to listen to more, which is interesting. No. I need to hear more of this band. There were certain elements that I really, really liked. I love that they had a lot of fun making their video. As we know, I'm just big on the fun. So, it was really cool to see them, and they're very expressive, and the movie was very fun. Their video was very funny in certain parts, and I could just see them having a really wicked time making it and having a great time being in a band together, which is what it's all about, is having so much fun. I had someone send me an email the other day in response to my comments about uh, being a concert pianist and a musician in an orchestra and feeling like it was my job. Like, I didn't actually have any fun growing up with music. I really, I was like on time, I had to practice, I had to work, I, I had to fill in my practice cards, and... I practiced a lot of music, and it was like a job. So I didn't actually have any fun playing music, except when I was just really left alone, maybe on the weekends to do what I wanted, and just screw around on the piano or muck about on my cello. But that didn't happen very much because I was, like, super directed. So he wrote me a response and said he had the same experience when he was in music, mm. and that it was a total job for him, and it was work, and there was nothing fun about it. So he's looking to get a new guitar because he's going to go back and reclaim that second childhood. So yes. I thought that was really cool. Thank you for sending me your email. I, I haven't responded yet, but I'm producing my response. I've just been working a lot. Yeah, so. I, I, I saw it and I forwarded it. Yes. I, I read it and uh, I, I loved your story and yeah. uh, the whole $100 guitar thing and, and looking to ramp up and, and buy another one and, and continue on. That's really, really cool. We, yeah. we wish you all the best. Absolutely. Speedy, speedy healing, recovery from whatever you're, you're going through right now. It seems to be a very common theme in this community. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the things that we are going to be offering on our new channel which is a lot around health and optimizing joy and performance and all these other things that Kel and I have been uh, coaching and counseling people with for the last 20, 30 years. Um, yeah. Thanks for being here. And yeah. Thank, thank, thanks, for thank your, you. thanks for your letters and thanks for, thanks for your email. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Very exciting. Need to hear more. Ironic. We're hearing more. Okay. Ears are on. Lips are closed. 
let's peer over the virtual fence. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> All right, obituary sentence day. Cool logo. Now I am become death. Relax. The destroyer of worlds. That's New York. That circle line. That was the circle line boat. That love he's wearing. Sweaty arm, sweaty forearm. so cool that you're listening to this with me. I can't tell you how much of a trip that is. It's like, thank you, Lord. Thank you for dropping you into my arms. With encased in metal. Totally molten, baby. Just for you. Hi, yi, yi. That is some great music, I, Rain. I, I figured it out. Love I, I know what I'm going to do. For a lot of reasons. What are you gonna do? I am going to learn to growl. I love that growl, by the way. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Because what the best way to learn and to understand a musical device that you don't understand, you don't like, and you're not comfortable with, is to become it. So musicians I, out there, all of you can agree that there's something to be learned from something we don't like because it pushes us over the edge to appreciate the sounds that we do like and realize the differentiation between that and this and this and that. Be a heat-seeking missile. So for I need to learn to growl. <laughs> I that just know. became more rated. Okay, then. <laughs> no, that so, was more like vomiting, I thought. Something, not PG-13. We're going to call you Kellyanna? No. I have to learn to growl. So I loved his growl. I loved his voice. That, to me, is very listenable. Hmm. It's the, the, the uh, band Death, right? Yes. With Chuck. Yes. Rocket in Peace. Um, 
I'm not thrilled with the kind of high stuff, mm. but when it's straightforward like that, I love that, and I love that about death metal. Well, I think there's a... a and such good music. Oh, my God. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just making an observation. Personally, I feel that that is a very manly band. Yeah, it is. They have a manly look. They mm -hmm. have their rock and the big bush beards, and they're like... <laughs> the hunting, the hunting the, gear. The rings, and I, I just thought that... Camel. They're total... Oh, I love camel. And so... I just think that it's a very manly sound, and we've discussed this before on the channel, that there are some screams that sound more like females, and then there's females that can execute male sounds, and it's very, um, for me, Dynamic. and I'm not saying that it's better or worse, and I'm not typecasting anybody. I'm saying to my ears and to my eyes, they are what I would view as the essence of another hardcore, amazing metal male Band. I hope they're still out there and touring. They're incredible. I'm sure they. I'm sure they are. And on that same topic, Bandmade is the complete opposite. They encompass the full female, all that is feminine and pretty and frilly, and yet there's this gargantuan sound coming out of those women, and there's this manly yes. essence and this ferociousness about this band that I love. The the growl, I just need to practice my growl, and then I'm going to growl in front of all of you, and you're going to be like, oh, my God. She, she was, was meant, meant to do Jewish. that. I remember when she wouldn't even listen to it. I remember when. <laughs> so, so, so I do want to share something with you that you might not be aware of. Tell me. That's intriguing, isn't it? You may have been told this by your vocal coaches way back when, when you were a lot mm -hmm. younger. You have a high register mm -hmm. or, or timber of your voice mm -hmm. and also a low mm -hmm. and when you do what you're talking about it's going to be something else because well, I've heard you when we kickbox together oh, yeah. and you do your stuff yeah. I hear that growl I hear that scream it's, it's more of a so I need to be the ninja <laughs> yeah more often we gotta give, we gotta give Kel a stage name. I think it's coming. <laughs> I don't know. One personality is enough. <laughs> you look like scared kitten. I present to you, scared kitten. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Fright. I present to you, frightened tulip. <laughs> Let's go. Right. Okay. Happy birthday, Wayne. Thanks for everything Many that more. you do in the world and everything you've done for us. Thank you for being here on the channel and for being on the planet. Yeah, one of the things that we're doing is... The world's a better place because you're here. We're going to use your information that you've given us on all that has come before. The yeah. pages, the volumes of information, sorted. We're going to be Thank using you. that on our Patreon channel or wherever it ends up, website, etc. Hopefully YouTube as well, um, as long as they we'll don't... See knock us away um, we're going to be using your, your your stuff and clearly with these two selections you really you you nail it for us Very so fun. thank you so have much. at her in the comments comment section give day. Wayne Klinger happy birthday is one yeah. of our first subscribers and just an awesome strong part of this community yeah. a kiss for you Wayne from us well from me <laughs> knuckle bang dude with the spikes in your throat. Yeah. All right. See I'm going back to work. Later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.